guys, here we are, episode five. It's been a few weeks since I put up another video. Um, it's been a busy few weeks. I had some good news first up. A couple of weeks ago, I shot my first deer just out at a local state forest. So I went for a bit of a morning hunt. Um, didn't really see much. And then thought we'd go and uh, sit on the side of a nice little gully around lunchtime. And we've been sitting there for, uh, I suppose, about an hour and a half. Um, when I spotted this fellow up, up the hill, um, got the binos onto him, confirmed who it was, and then lost him again, and then picked him up a few minutes later, maybe 60 metres from us, and clean shot with the 325 straight through his left shoulder, and he dropped on the spot. So awesome to finally get one on the ground, um, and let me tell you, it was a mission packing him out, even as small as he was. Um, so I'll try and put up a photo. All, all I've got is a few photos, unfortunately, and I stupidly forgot to get the camera out. Um, I'm sort of just in the in the moment. Um, so yeah, like I said, awesome to finally get one. I was surprised how much meat we got off got off him in the end. Um, and yeah, we, we carried him out pretty much whole, so we gutted him in the field and carried him out. And that was, yeah. It was a battle week with two of us, um, two of us carrying him and then butchered him up in, in my mate's shed and got yeah, quite a bit of meat off him. So the freezer's full at the moment, um, but I'm keen to get back out and keep it stocked now. So definitely well and truly got the bug. Um, but what I thought we'd do today, so I put in, my mate and I put in a bit of an order with Kuyu the other week and it's turned up nice and quick as usual with them. Um, so I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing this episode and we'll see what we've got. Uh, I've got the weights that Kuyu have quoted for everything, so I might get the scales out and weigh what I've got and see if it stacks up. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So let's get this underway. So here we go. It looks like quite a big box, but you'll see it's not really that much. So let's see. I was... One of those people, I suppose, that I swore I've never really jumped on the Kuyu bandwagon, but once I bought one of their packs, I was kind of sold. I still, I love all my Mavarika 30 clothing and I probably won't um, stray from them anytime soon, because I think their gear is awesome quality and I love not supporting um, local brands. So they'll definitely still get plenty of orders from me, but for now, it'll just be Kuyu packs and, and whatnot. So this is some of my mate stuff. So we're getting that out of the way. There's another. So he he just ordered some of the price extension hip hop pouches, a hat, and the can I be any. So that can get stashed out of the way. And I think one of these shirts is his. So, yeah, we just wanted a few casual shirts because, I don't know, I feel like should be proud to be a hunter, so I don't mind wearing these sorts of shirts out and about now. Well, if people, well, people form their own opinion of hunters, but I like to call myself a proud hunter, especially now that I've got a deer on the deck, I can actually call myself a hunter. So. But here's what I, I picked up. So first up, I had a couple of these uh, boned out game bags. So I bought two in their medium narrow size and one in the large. So my plan with these, I saw a video that Jason Hurst and the, like the founder of Kuyu put out, I don't know, probably a long time ago now, a couple of years or so at least. Um, so the, like he passed away three years ago, so at least that long ago. Um, so his idea with these, with the, the narrow, the medium narrows for starters, was to pack all his food in these, and then when he gets an animal on the deck, his food ideally is mostly gone by that point. Um, either gets transferred all into one of these bags, or what's left gets put in one, and meat gets put in the other. Um, or all the food gets emptied out to his main pack and meat goes in there. So kind of a dual purpose thing, so it means I will ditch 
all the game bags and the dry bag I've got that I keep my food in. Ditch all of those, save a little bit of weight, and you might use these bags as, as a multi-purpose bag, really. Um, and I did buy one of the large ones. Um, so in theory, I think the large is meant to be twice as big as the medium. So, which it looks like it's probably going to be about that, maybe not, not quite. So it's very close, yeah, very close. So I might be able to fit the two mediums packed inside the large. And I said, pack my food, my food in, in the two mediums, and then use all three to carry meat out um, if need be, if we get something that big on the ground. So I might weigh everything as we go, and I might grab some photos of the scales later on um, so I can put up so you guys can see. But I'm not telling porkies about the weight, um, especially if you are on the money or have under or over quoted what their bags are meant to be. So I'll just keep the two mediums together so we don't get confused. So there's the two mediums. We'll get the scales. So, could you quote the two mediums at 68 grams each? So let's see what we've got. I was trying to get it to sit on the on the scales properly. So pretty much bang on this one's coming in at 69. So that's as good as, like we're not really going to get much better than that. Um, and that's still got the tag on, so <laughs> with the tags off we might hit that, that 68. And this one's coming in bang on 68, so that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Um, and they quote the large at 82, so we'll see how we've gone with with the large one, uh, but I reckon based on those other two, we're going to be pretty spot on, I'd say, if I can get it to sit on the scales properly. So one thing I have noticed with Kuyu so far, everything that I've ordered from them, their weights are pretty much bang on. So the large one is a couple of grams heavier, so I've got it at 85 and I don't think you're going to lose 3 grams. So they quoted at 82 and I've got a weighing 85. So again, pretty pretty bloody good. Um, so I'll leave these to the side for now. I have finished work so it is whiskey time. I'm quite fond of a good single malt. So, Next we've got one of the Kenai uh, beanies. So it's kind of getting a bit over. This is the main one of the beanies I sleep in. So I saw these and they look like they've got real good insulation in them. So I thought it would be the perfect beanie to sleep in. Um, I'll wear a Morocco 31 out in the field a lot and sort of a like on my hunting gear to match. But depending on how warm this is, it might find its way into my day pack. Um, We'll see. So they, they quote these at uh, 68 grams as well. Um, I don't reckon... Oh, so they've, they've let themselves go with this one, I think. So we'll see, but if I can get it to sit on the... So I've got that at 74. Still light for, when like you look at the insulation in this, and for a nice, like, really nice fleece liner on it, it feels like it's going to be warm as anything. Um, so 74 grams for a beanie like that, and it's pretty good. It feels like it's got a semi, like a sort of water resistant um, outer on it. So like I said, it may well find its way into the day pack and end up um, 
on the head out in the field. So I'm yeah, super impressed with that. I wasn't expecting the fleece to be as nice as it is. So I dare say it is going to be super comfy. So next, so it wasn't a massive order this time. So this is all this is all we've got. So I bought some of their Axis gloves, um, which again are not totally waterproof. Um, I think they're sold in water resistant and insulated, so they should be should be warm. They should keep the wind off and keep most of the water away. Um, so these are a size large. Um, to quote these at seventy one grams a pair, and I got them at seventy two. So that's that's pretty good. Now the thing I was a little bit worried about is their sizing. So a lot of people say that they need to be one size smaller with their Kuyu gloves. So I measured my hands up before I ordered these and it looked like I was going to be a large and that's what I ordered. Uh, and then I read that article and got a little bit worried, but these fit perfectly like a glove, some would say. So they're super comfy, they're meant to be like, they're meant to sort of maintain quite a bit of dexterity. I only pair with gloves now. Um, so I bought some seal skins recently. Um, they're fingerless sort of convertible mitten, um, which again isn't totally waterproof. And I just gave them a spray um, with a with a, just a waterproofing spray, and that seemed to do the trick. Um, the issue I had with them, I suppose, is that I couldn't pull them on over the fingerless gloves I was already wearing, and they were too bulky to wear all day. And we'll get back back onto these bloody magnets again. They had magnets in them to fold the mitten back and the thumb. And can you guess what those magnets did? They just played absolute havoc with my Lotto 750 and just sent me around the bend on our, on our last trip. Between those and the Bino harness, it was just, yeah, just a cluster. Um, so yeah, I'm glad these fit. That'll be, yeah, I definitely think they'll be good out in the field. Um, so yeah, yeah, I was going to say, so I've got these, um, I've got some gloves that are probably no longer available that made by uh, Plat Attack, and they're surprisingly not much heavier than these from memory. Um, I'd have to have a look at the spreadsheet, so I've got a, a full spreadsheet with all my gear, um, everything's been weighed out and has limited waste to absolutely everything. Um, so I've got those Plat Attack gloves, I don't think they're, yeah, like I said, much heavier than these and they're meant to be fully waterproof although I don't think they're seam sealed so they do eventually let a little bit of water in um, then I've got those seal skins and then just some fingerless country garden gloves that I sort of wear day in day out um, when I'm out on my backpacking trip but that's it yeah that's essentially my order um, like I said I've got a couple of casual t-shirts as well um, but yeah, that's it. I'll grab some photos of all the weights of these and sort of chop them in here and there. But yeah, pretty stoked with, with what's come. Christmas has come early this year from Kuyu. So I'm stoked. Still got a couple other things I might buy before Christmas, um, depending on whether there's any other sales or not. But definitely keen to get out hunting again um, in the next few weeks and see how we go. I will have to remember to take the camera out and actually try and get some footage now. Um, I was shattered that I didn't get anything from that hunt where I shot that um, little fellow buck. Because that would have been, I suppose, something you'd almost treasure having that, having footage. Um, but I suppose a photo tells a thousand words. Um, and I think, yeah, when you see it, you'll be able to see how stoked I was with, with that day. Um, so yeah, freeze is full, but that's not going to stop me at the moment because that uh, stock in the freezer is half depleted. So that's a wrap for episode five. Um, I will try and get something out very, very soon again. All right. Thanks, guys.